Hey everyone, Laura Renner here, founder of Freedom Makers, coming to you live from San Francisco with our CFO here, J5 from Fuseface. And um, today we're talking about um, 2020. So October 1st is four days away. Yeah, something Friday, like Saturday, that. Yeah, Sunday, yeah, yeah. Monday, five good. days Saturdays away. Saturdays don't count. So, and yeah. that's the start of the last quarter of 2019, which means 2020 is around the corner. Get it? Aha, uh -huh. hindsight 2020. <laughs> we thought this yeah, we thought this through yeah. yeah Jay was like are we going what are we gonna record it and then post? I'm like it's live that's right Facebook live technology is amazing there right? you go mm -hmm. um, and uh, so anyway so this week's blog is about what do you wish you had done this past year this past decade and then of course I throw in the past century because you know how do you self-assess sure exactly and um, so um, what are things you regret, things you didn't do, things you wish you had done, and can you make those changes and put them into place in this last quarter so that you can start 2020 off the way you always wanted to? Hindsight's 2020. There you go. Uh -huh. I was paying attention. <laughs> exactly. Only me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so yeah. when we were getting ready for this call, I asked Jay. All 30 seconds ago. Right. Um, <laughs> what he... Uh, what you wish you had done differently this century and you're like nothing I started a business well no I mean I, we all have things that we've learned as we've gone along I mean the whole sure. idea is to try to learn from what you do and uh, you know basically you try to go to bed smarter than when you wake up try to I learn like something that. new go to bed smarter um, than when you wake up yeah so again it's exactly evaluating how you how you operate and what you, what you would do differently I mean all of this is a learning process sure uh, which makes it you know which makes it's the fun of it right you know, exactly if you do something new every day uh, get to learn something every day uh, and be able to translate that into an actionable item uh, and use it to kind of propel things forward. So the whole idea is just, you, it's just sort of continuous improvement um, and just try to do things better and more efficiently and you know leverage off of what you learn from somebody else that you can you know, yeah. help somebody else with. I will share, I learned from you. Um, you just always seem calm and cool like, no matter how stressful things get so I, I feed off of that. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter and I had this conversation that she would tend not to agree with you. But oh, saying, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. She says I don't handle stress very well. <laughs> and then... Um, you don't sweat the small stuff either. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, a lot of it, I mean, most of it yeah. you can work yourself out. Right. I mean, and so, and sometimes it's important to just take a step back. Right. Because you know, again, the, the solution will typically come, you just, sometimes you just have to walk away from it. Sure. Yeah. You know. And I've also learned, I learned from you, um, I know that I tend to do things differently, and so finding vendors... Or support like people I work with who are okay with that I realize that's important because you're okay with it yeah. and when when I realize how much easier it is to run my business when my CFO understands my the way I handle cash yeah. flow and well, stuff no, like I mean, that everybody has their own idiosyncrasies and sure. you want to be able to adjust them because again yeah. it's you working with them not forcing them into some right. kind of box and right you know I always found that my, my world is kind of Gray. So if mm -hmm. I work with people that are more black and white, it's a good compliment to my skill set. Um, you know, they kind of keep me whole, as opposed to just sort of you know, meandering off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now, because of that, though, whenever I uh, go into partnership with someone, like I make sure that they are okay with my the way I do things, and not gonna be like, why are you? Why don't you do it that way? Because like, it's frustrating when you ask me that every single time. It wasn't time. really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just roll with it. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, anything you'd like to try differently in 2020? Um, that you only have five seconds to figure five out. Five seconds to figure out. No, I mean, just keep doing the things we are. Keep working with different yeah. people that are doing really cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the fun of it. People that work doing, you know, following their passion and being right. able to help them out. Well, you just hired your next team member too. You yeah, there's yeah. four of us now. Yeah. Yeah, kind yeah. of. So, which is exciting because yeah. it, it allows me to do other things, a little, you know, more CFO stuff. As well. okay. I'm losing my data entry hat, which I'm not lamenting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somehow I think right. I can give that one up pretty easily. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's yeah, good. Well, yeah, it's, just, it's a big, big leap forward. Yeah, yeah but you know, like, we see that a lot with our clients. Some people that that level of detail is hard to let go. No, and you have to. I right. mean, there's, there are different levels of, of business growth and, that, and mm -hmm. how, you, how, you train, how you work through each phase of your business um, you know, that is going to have an impact on your level of success. Uh, we're meeting with somebody on Monday who basically uh, you know, didn't think it was a right fit. Now, 
they just don't want it. They want to focus more on their business as opposed to their back office. And so we'll be able, hopefully we'll be able to help them, yeah. you know, kind of get out there yeah. and focus on their business. That reminds me, I got to talk to you about my 2020 plans because... That's I, the whole point of right. having the afternoon out. It justifies the business expense. So it's all about prior planning. <laughs> yeah. And so, <laughs> so that, on that note, this is how Jay and I work. We always go off topic, but hopefully this is important. Yeah, and I know he's soft-spoken. Hopefully you could hear him. And um, uh, uh, that, what were we talking about? Oh, oh the yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty. that you um, have some ideas. Check out the blog for some ideas on things you may want to do differently in your business and put those in place. Um, you got three months to do it and you can start 2020 um, the way you always wanted to. Sort of like a starting gun that you need to set off with? Exactly. Okay, all right. There That's you go. three days from now. Yeah. No, For you sure. have three months to plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it starts on, on Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you next Bye. week. <laughs> yeah.